Mic check one, mic check two, mic check three. Okay, actually, I just wanted to do that first initial FanRail mod pack installation video guide, whatever you want to call it, one more time. A little bit better. No mic cutting out, all of that crap. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we're going to install the mod pack for the ALP46. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm actually going to show you where to find it and how to install it. Go to YouTube. Fan Railer. So now I'm going to type in Fan Railer and then put ALP46 in the search bar. Next is the first one on there, so I don't have to go searching through the uh, results page. I'm just going to click on the first one. There you go, NJT ALP46 and the A subcategory. It sounds a Physic mod released two years ago. That's his most recent one that I know of. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the bottom. Let me pause the video. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the bottom here. I'm going to go click on Sure More in the description box to find where the installation is. Um, the download file is a Mediafire file, so it's going to usually put the download leak filed by Mediafire. You're going to click on that, open it up. You're going to click on Download Now. Over in the lower left hand corner, or wherever you have your downloads, you can see it's now downloading here. I'm going to close the file of the page that popped open in the Mediafire uh, tab here. I don't trust it. I, I believe I got like a virus from Mediafire before. The files are good. His files are okay. The website, I don't trust as much. Okay, so I'm just waiting for it to download here. So you want to keep in mind, this will also be on the notepad inside the file, but the install instructions I'm going to show you since it's already open here, is what we got to keep in mind are these two things right here. So Dovetail Games and the subcategory NJT-ALP46. Those are two important things we're going to need and a couple of steps here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open the file. It's a zip file. Everything is zipped up tight so it doesn't take up too much space on your computer. When you open one of these, you're going to have four files. You're going to have two pictures, two JPG, uh, uh, JPG files. You're going to have the notepad, which is this one, the readme.txt file. Uh, so you can go there to see where the file has to go directly to change notes and what he what he did exactly. So we're actually going to just open that up one more time. Next, we're going to open up the zip file, the one. So I have WinRAR. Some people have seven zips. Some people have WinZip. Whatever one that shows the symbol for the program, you click on that. It's it's going to be a, a dot. RAR file. If you do not have a zip program, then you will not be able to open up the file. You have to get a zip program. Wherever you get it, just get it. Um, I'm not going to tell you because, you know, it's illegal. So it's up to you. Okay, so it's open up now. Okay, so here we are. After opening up the zip file for the LP46, you got two folders in here. You got audio and rail vehicles. Sometimes you have input mappers, sometimes you have a fourth category, but just for this video, we have two audio and rail vehicles. Okay, we're going to keep that open. We're not going to close anything, so we're not going to close this folder and do not close 
the other one, which was where the four files were. So now I'm going to go look for my main Railworks folder. Okay, so now, I don't know, some people keep their Railworks folder, wherever you keep your Railworks, wherever you keep your Steam folders, where you're going to gonna go. So I keep my Steam information and stuff, and my Drive F, which is an external drive, so I can switch computers. I'm going to click on Steam. From Steam, I'm going to scroll down to where the folders are still present, click on Steam Apps. From Steam Apps, I'm going to click on Common. From common, I'm going to go down to Railworks. So make sure you only look for Railworks, not any other game that you might have. After that, I'm going to look for assets. Just a side note, I'm going to just stay here for a sec. Also, if you need to know about how to drive a certain train or the different keys and functions, you have the manuals and Dovetail Games provide some you know, pretty decent manuals to help you get started if you don't know how to operate the train. But, uh, okay, we're going to skip that for now. Um, so... Go to assets, so keep following along. So ALP 46, remember the two important things that I said. So, I'm gonna... it was a set. so two more things I want to show you. Actually, not show you, but that I mentioned earlier. This this text here, this was on, his, uh, was on the YouTube channel. It's also here as well. And what you're looking for, like I said before, the most, the two things you gotta really know is DTG and NJT ALP 46. For some of his mods, DGT, uh, DTG will be replaced with RSC or the respective folder. Since the North Jersey coastline came out after Train Simulator was taken over by Dovetail Games, it's gonna be DGG. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the DGD fo folder. Now, here inside the DGT folder, you're going to scroll down until you get the NJT ALP 46. If you're installed in the 45, that's not going to be called 45. It will be called North Jersey Coast. So we're going to go to NJT ALP 46. Now, under the ALP 46, there's two files. You're only going to have two files. NJT ALP 46 assets, which is an AP file. And you're going to have the blueprints that pack, which is a package file. You're not going to have these twos in here. So, and this is what you're going to have on your screen. Please make sure that you downloaded a zip program or you will not see this file and you will definitely not be able to open it up. Now, you're not going to open that file. Forget about it. This is the farthest you're going. You're going to go back to where you unzip the ALP46. You're going to click and highlight both folders. You're going to drag both folders. You're going to drag both folders into the NJT ALP46 file. And you're going to let them install. Um, there's no files in here, so it shouldn't ask you to overwrite anything. So um, because I'm holding down F6 for the microphone, uh, let me go back and, and uh, drag over the rail vehicles. For But like I said, it shouldn't ask you to overwrite anything. The reason why I just said that because I just dragged over the audio file, the audio file twice. So you know you're complete when you're uh, you have the audio and real vehicle files present and the the package here. So you've done that correct, and you should be all ready to go. That's all you got to do. You do not need to extract the NJT ALP 46 ASICS folder. That's all you need to do. Now to see if it works. Of course, you're going to open up Train Simulator, and you're going to test to see if it's work, see if there's any missing sounds that are different from the video you watched on YouTube, and you're going to make sure it's correct. And so let's do that now. also recommend just close any folders that are clogging up your screen. Make your computer run a little bit faster.
Well, like always, Train Simulator always takes a little bit to lo a couple of minutes to load, but you know, that's normal. So, when you install the AOL, I'm just going to talk about this pack for right now. When you install the AOP46 pack, the only when you want to run the AOP46 in a scenario, or if you want to run it in a quick drive, you're only going to have access to the AOP46, not the one that can go 125 miles an hour. That one you have to create your own consist or go to free roam or you know do create a, a quick drive scenario but you're not gonna have access to it from the selections in quick drive it's not gonna be there you have to create it yourself luckily I do have it I already did create one before this video so I'll show it to you now So, of course, it's not going to be a different file. It's going to be the same. I'm going to show it to you here real quick. So the sounds will be under the original ALP46 file. That's all you're going to need. But like I said, you're not going to have access to the ALP46A. You have to create that yourself. Uh, not in the file. You create it within the game. You know, all you go, you do create, uh, create new, confirm stuff like that. I'll show it to you as soon as I'm done with this. But first, uh, I'm gonna select my priest, uh, the one I created earlier, right here. And when you have the ALP46 created, there's not gonna be an image. It's still gonna work. The train is there, but you're not gonna have an image for it. There's no image in the file, so. LP46 leading with 10 multi levels. So I'm just going to let that load right now. So once I'm done, I'm going to show you how you can get the LP46A. It's really easy. You, uh, I'm going to show how you create your own consist and where you can find the LP46A. Because sometimes you want to operate a Trenton line train, uh, you know, Northeast quarter line train with 10 multi levels, and the normal ALP 46 is just not going to cut it. And you want something that can go above 100 miles an hour. Also, I will be doing a video in Train Some World. I did pre-order the Neck Northeast Quarter, which is only from, apparently, Oak Point Yard in the Bronx to about Secaucus. No, not even, to, like, Newark International. That you can tell if it's working. Listen to the horn. Listen to the bell. So now you know that it's working correct. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to get the LP46A. At least how I did it. All you got to do is go to Create New Consist if you want it for the quick drives confirm and you're gonna let that load this takes forever to load I don't know why it just does it takes longer to load in some scenarios This was done during a live stream, but feel free to skip ahead when you see the loading screen disappear here.
Okay, once you waited 12 years for that to load, now you're in the quick drive consist creation window here. And so, now you want to create yourself, let's say, a 10 car multi-level set with an ALP 46 pushing and uh, pulling. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the drop down window here um, that says type. It should already say wagon at the top. So you want to select electric. So once you're there, you're going to go to the search bar. Okay, hold up, got to let that do its thing. Going to go to the search bar. For some reason, is there a train name search? No, there's not. So you're going to erase that, type in ALP 46. If I were you, actually just type in ALP, leave it at ALP 46, and now you will have access to create with the ALP 46A. And if you don't know what ND stands for, it stands for no driver. So if, let's say you have the train at the back, or you know pushing the consist, or you have it in the middle with a double header, triple header, or you know so on and so on. Then you don't want those cabs that people in there. You know just that added realism. There wouldn't be people in that. It would only be the dry, the engineer in the front of the train. It wouldn't be the engineer in the back, something like that. So that's what ND stands for, non-driver. So we're gonna click on the one here because we want the N A L P 46 at the front of the train. Next, what we want to do, so I want to click on Add to the Front. If this was going to be pushing, you click Add to the Back. But I'm going to click Add to the Front, and it doesn't matter which direction you have it, because the LP46, as you can see, has cabs at both ends of the locomotive here. So it doesn't matter. Both cabs are the same. Both directions are the same. It doesn't matter which way you have them. Next, you want to add your cars. So let's say you want to add... Um, Eh, we'll go with the multi-level. So we're going to go back with that. I'm going to go back to Wagon here. And, and then from there, I should have a selection to four different files, at least for me. It might be different for you. You might not have the... Uh, actually, no, it would be the same, because if you have the 46, you most likely have uh, North Jersey Coastline. So um, I'm going to click on the North Jersey Coastline. I fix on the coastline multi-levels are better than the bricks on the ALP 46 multi-levels. And if you have a sound pack on the North Jersey coastline multi-levels, then when you add the cab car, it will be the sounds from the ALP 45 DP multi-levels and not the ALP 46 multi-levels, which is a different sound in a different folder. It's different. It's all. It's it's technically different. So I don't know why it's like that. But it is. So I'm gonna put in the special trailer cars, the one with the bathroom. Multi-level trailer cars, the one without the bathroom. I'm gonna put about. Uh, I'm gonna mix it up. So I'm gonna do. Make sure you click add to the back, not add to the front, not insert. You wanna be precise where you put it. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, blah blah blah, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and then you don't want to put one of these on the last because if you look at the the, um, the model here, there is no cab car on this. To get the cab car, you're going to go to diesel. Now you're going to have multi-level cab cars for all the New Jersey Transit equipment, the 46, the 46A, the F40 PH-2 cat, the GPP, uh, 40 PH-2B, the 45 DP, the 46A again, you know, the, and, you know, just, he's gonna have it twice for some reason, I don't know, but what you want is, you want to go back to, like I did for the wagon, uh, tab, you're gonna go here, and you're gonna look for multi-label 45 DP, since the train is at the back, you're gonna want non-driver, so you're gonna wait for that to load up, Make sure it's the right cab car. Make sure there's a cab car on the back. And just add that to the back. You're not done yet. Now go to the back and double check. Look at these images correspond to the actual model of the train. They're not just default. So.
If you look closely, it's facing this direction with the cab car pointing inwards towards the constants. What you want to do is you want to flip it. I just clicked flip, but for some reason the last car never wants to flip. So a little trick I used to do is I'll just add a second one to the back, flip that one, and delete this one. Or, you know, for delete it, but you want to delete it. And then now the cab car is in the right direction. It corresponds to this angle that you're seeing here. As you can see, there's no door back there. There's a door right there. Door back there, it wouldn't be correct. So now you got it in the right direction. You got a 10 car multi level train set. What you want to do next now is click next. You also, now you want to name the consist. I'm going to name it this. ALP 46A lead in 10 multi levels. You don't have to select the country code, but I will. USA, let's go. Um, once that's done, okay, you want to just you know do a quick reset. Go back to click on the image, locomotive selection button. Click on custom. You don't have to wait for that to load. And now you're gonna look for the constants you just created, which will be ALP 46 leading with 10 multi levels. Okay, so now we're going to go test the concept, see if it works, see if the sounds are correct, make sure everything is working correct. So we're going to go back to, you know, click a random route, doesn't matter. We're going to let that load up, and we'll see if it works. You're going to, no you're going to note that my multi-level has no sounds. Uh, that's on purpose. I removed the sounds because I don't want to hear it. I only want to hear... The 46. I don't want to hear the multi-levels because in real life you wouldn't hear the multi-levels. You would just hear the 46. Okay, so now we're back in. We're going to double check that we the sounds are working correct. Okay, now, just a side note, you know that you got the 46A because it has this bell. It has the E bell. The regular 46 has the still bell, not the E bell. And we're going to double check that the concept is correct, so we're going to go to the free, uh, uh, free lock outside camera. That's the 8 key on the keyboard. And as you can see, the concept is correct. It's 10 cars, cab car is facing the right direction, 46 is fine because it has two cabs on either end, and we're going to see, make sure the train can drive. Oh, just a side note, if you ever want to enable the cab signaling system, it's going to be Control D and Control F. Remember that. Control D, Control F. And once you have that on, you should all be ready to go. Be able to drive your train, whatnot. Ah, uh, I'm just going to take it up to 125 real quick, and that'll be the end of the video. I'm also going to double check if this thing can reach 125 miles an hour.